Like you did not do drugs, you did not steal, you did not kill, you did not commit a crime. <laughs> Getting pregnant or having a baby is as natural as rainfall, okay? The rain is always gonna fall. Kick. Hey. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria if it's your first time here and if you're a returning subscriber, what's good fam? I am a student mom based in China. I live here with my husband and my seven month old baby. I am also a master student currently studying at Southeast University and I make videos about my life in China as a foreigner, my experiences and all that good stuff. So if this is something you are interested in or you would like to know more about, make sure to hit the subscribe button to join my family thumbs up this video and let me know where you're watching me from in the comments I would really love to hear from you in this video today I am going to be answering a question that I get asked a lot I'm just going to make in a video to address it and hopefully this video is going to be of help to someone out there so the question for today is can international students or can a foreigner actually give birth in China as a student I mean if you're here you know maybe working with a company or you're, you're just doing your own thing it might be conceivable but it seems like the whole idea of you know getting pregnant and giving birth here in China as a student is it seems like an inconceivable thought it seems like something that does not happen but that narrative is wrong I have had a couple of people message me or even call me so some people DM me on Instagram some people you know someone added my WeChat and they're like hi I saw your video um, concerning giving birth in China you know how you gave birth in China and you were a student how did you do it it's like how did you do this unthinkable thing and honestly I did not even know it was unthinkable until I, I began to get all these questions it's like people are seeing it as something that it's not it's it's impossible or it's it's rare or it can't happen and all of that and I just decided to make a video to clear the doubt now I don't really know where people get the idea that maybe you cannot give birth in China I think I can understand it to an extent because you know the rules here in China for foreigners or for foreign students they are, they are not the most favorable I mean they are not as relaxing as it is for maybe people who are who go to study in other Western countries like the US the UK and Canada and things like that I mean there are a lot of stringent rules concerning studying in China however believe me there is no impossibility in having a child in China as a student now I feel like the reason that some people might feel like it's a crime it, it almost sounds like it's a crime you know to get pregnant as a student while it is not advisable it's not like I'm not saying oh go and get pregnant if you are in China as a student then your main purpose of coming here was to study right but life happens okay life happens and getting pregnant or having a baby is, is something that is such a natural occurrence okay if there is a male species of human being and there is a female species of human being it's it's most likely you know that a, a pregnancy can occur or a pregnancy will occur so it's not it's not like uh, how like it's not like seeing a, a blue lion okay um, it's something that can very much happen however while it is not you know advisable for you to get pregnant and you know have have a child or have children while you are studying in China it's not something that cannot happen when I just got pregnant myself of course I wanted answers I wanted to know if there were people who had been in my shoes who had experienced you know being pregnant in China and all of that and so I went on YouTube right and I, I watched this video from this lady I think her channel name is PL brand China she also has like a brand uh, a hair brand and skin she makes like hair products and skin products she made this video I think it was only her video that I even saw somebody the make about a foreigner being pregnant or a foreigner giving birth in China and honestly I don't even know why it is so this was one of the things that inspired me to actually document my pregnancy and delivery story here in China as a foreigner because I feel like 
there aren't any stories out there basically there aren't any okay if if someone was to fall pregnant now in china and you just go to youtube to to know okay have people given birth in china before most especially foreigners what was the experience like how is this how is that you won't find anything i'm not kidding you because i searched for it myself i mean i think now if people search for it then youtube can recommend my videos to them and all of that but if you search for it uh, at, at the time when i was searching for it there was nothing okay the video i found was the video of this lady called pl brand china and trust me her story was not it wasn't palatable okay her story was was one that will put fear and dread in you <laughs> if you were to get pregnant or in china okay so according to her story she she i think she goes to a school in shaman or i don't know the city i think it was shaman she mentioned but her story was not well it, it's not an encouraging one okay she wasn't married okay she just she, she fell pregnant basically by her boyfriend at the time and she she apparently hid it she hid the pregnancy for i think about seven months and nobody knew about it and eventually when her dorm manager or the person in charge of the international students found out she was pregnant they wanted to repatriate her like they wanted to send her back to her country and i'm just like why obviously i know the rules are going to be different for different schools and different areas in china but i'm just going to be talking based on my perspective okay based on what i've experienced here at southeast university in nanjing now this lady said uh i think it was just a whole lot of issues it was a whole lot of problems um her school eventually kicked her out mm, i don't know they just it was just a lot and i think i might link her story in the description below but she was basically she did not have a good experience okay and she was just sharing her story and it was such a sad and pitiful story if that is the video that one came across maybe you are looking for some sort of hope or some sort of um, encouragement that okay people are actually doing this and you can actually do it if you came across her video you might be like what no i don't want to go through this i don't want this to be my experience it it, it might not you know it might discourage you a lot but after i watched her video i yeah i just moved on basically and eventually i had my baby and i decided okay i need to actually document something positive you know that it's actually possible to have a child in china it's very possible you guys um in my school obviously like i said earlier rules might differ for schools but i think for the larger per percentage it's it's it, it's not a crime it should not be a crime don't think that getting pregnant in china as a student automatically labels you a criminal or makes you someone who has you know gone against the law a lot of schools in china do not encourage you having children while studying and that's just because they want you to be focused on your studies and get the best results um if you are a phd student they will, of course they want you to be focused on your research even for the men okay they don't even encourage the men having children even though most times phd students they have their they, they bring their wives okay from their country to stay there with them a lot of schools are encourage it but it doesn't mean it's against the law that's what that's what i'm trying to say okay like like i said the the, the friend who messaged me and she was like uh, hi i wanted to know how you did it like how is it possible uh, um, uh, according to her she she's married she's married though she's here with her husband and she became pregnant and then she's like i don't know how i'm going to do it like i don't and it's just like girl you did not commit a crime okay now i'm not even talking about people who are married because uh, uh, of course i know not it's not always married people who get pregnant okay i have a lot of friends I, I know a lot a couple of people who have gotten pregnant out of wedlock and yeah the man was not even in the picture eventually it's not like they got pregnant and then maybe they now decide to get married to the person who uh, to the father of their child i know a couple of people who yeah they got pregnant and they had the baby as a single mother and they did not send them out of china okay nobody nobody is supposed to send you out of china for getting pregnant nobody it's not like you did not do drugs you did not steal you did not kill you did not do you did not commit a crime that's what i'm just trying to say 
okay getting pregnant and having a baby in its own is not a crime i'm going to say this over and over again and i hope it sinks because i know that for some people because of this dread and this fear of oh i'm not supposed to have a child in china because it's against the law then you just find yourself taking decisions that you're not meant to take because of the fear of I, should, I shouldn't be having a baby in China or I can't have a baby in China obviously I'm not here to judge whatever decisions people decide to take um, in their life but I'm just here to say if the reason why you are about to take that not so great decision concerning your pregnancy is because you feel like you can't have a baby in china maybe because it's against the law or because you feel like they're going to send you back home or because you feel like your life is just going to spoil no sis no it's, it's it's not going to happen that way it didn't happen that way for me and it didn't happen that way for some people that i also know i also know some people even in my city and even like outside my city who they are they are like they, 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 they are single mothers and they are thriving okay they have a child and they are still doing their 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 studies like whatever it is they came to china for i'm not saying it's the easiest of things to do obviously if you have a child and you have to couple it with your academics it is going to be a little bit more difficult however it's not something that's impossible it's something that you can do it's something that it's very possible that's what i'm just trying to say okay so um i really hope that this clears the doubt and this clears the air concerning you know having a child or having a baby as a foreigner in china i mean if you do get pregnant there are a lot of things that you will need to know um you might need for example if when the baby comes you might need to get like a, a state permit for the baby which your school is supposed to be able to do for you and the baby's passport is going to be attached to your own passport and your and the baby's state permit will be attached to your own state permit permits okay now you have to go ahead and you know ask the school and find out what the situation is like for your school and for your area how you're going to go about it and yeah that's basically it you have your baby and you just you move on with your life i hope you guys get the point i'm trying to make i hope this message is going to you know help someone somewhere who needs it okay if you have any more questions concerning you know getting pregnant or having a child in china um i'll be more than willing to help in in any way that i can go ahead and leave me your questions you can also message me on instagram if you don't want to leave your questions in the comments and i also have a lot of other videos i basically i documented my whole pregnancy journey at natal visit um even the, the the birth experience itself the postpartum recovery i documented everything on my channel if you want to know what it's really like you know to get pregnant in china as a foreign student and you know give birth and have your baby and just things like that i have all those videos on my channel um you can check it out i'm probably going to leave it in the description of this video so you can watch those videos and enlighten yourself know everything that you need to know i know that it's it's not impossible okay people are doing it people have been doing it people are gonna keep doing it okay because like I said getting pregnant or having a baby is as natural as rainfall okay the rain is always gonna fall <laughs> if you guys get what I mean so yeah that is for this video I hope you find it helpful please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed and I'm sure you're going to like it here on my channel also give this video a thumbs up it helps my channel and it helps youtube promote this video to wider audiences share this video if you know anyone who might be in this situation or who you think might be in need of this video make sure to share it to them you can share it on your social media platforms and you will be helping a soul thank you guys so much for always i will see you in another of my videos bye guys Mwah.